Hello, young scholars and readers. Welcome. My name is Zainab with my friend Noor, and we are back with another read aloud for uh, Black History Month. Again, you know, it's my favorite month of the year because it's when we get an opportunity to celebrate Black people, no matter where they're from and who they are. So I'm so excited to be here. And in honor of uh, Black History Month, of course, we will be reading um, uh, some amazing books. And my friend, Noor, will uh, get us started on the first book. Yes, we'll get this going. Let me just share my screen here and we can start with our first book. So our first book today is called My Mind is a Masterpiece. My Mind is My Masterpiece. And then here's the dedication page. I'll just read it. This is dedicated to the confident girls hiding behind her thoughts, ideas, and intelligence. She is timid at times, yet full of hidden potential and possibilities. Just thought it was a nice way to start. Here we go. In the morning when I pray, I hear God say, my mind is beautiful. As I open my eyes, feet to the floor, I get so excited for what my mind has in store. I brush my teeth and wash my face, preparing to speak my affirmations with grace. Say it with me. I am a brown girl created and uniquely designed with purpose to achieve. I'm a girl that will let my heart and knowledge lead. My daily reflection proves that I am enough, even when I face days that may seem rough. I am a girl with beauty and brains, I was made to walk, talk, and think differently. Not like my friends or family, but like me. I am a girl that will not hide behind my thoughts, but will embrace them. My beautiful mind will not be clouded with opinions of me, but guided by thoughts of love intelligence and authority. When I enter a room, I will not be afraid. Instead, I will tell myself I am confident and wonderfully made. I will hold my head high without doubt or shame because being myself is my one true aim. My mind is special. It was created with its own identity. God gave me the tools and ability where my thoughts can be free. I will raise my hand unapologetically with confidence and poise. I will believe in myself even when my thoughts make noise. I will replace I think with I can because being bold and courageous is in high demand. I will push myself until the race is won. I will remember to laugh, be grateful, and just have fun. Getting good grades is an honor to receive. Making myself and my parents proud is easy when I believe. I will use my time and talents to make a difference, even when to others it may not make sense. My life matters. I will use my mind as a guide to stand up for what is right, even when the world puts up a fight. Putting my best foot forth is the key. 
because my only competition is me. On any stage, I will try my best and stand tall. Having self-love and positive thinking will win them all. My vision of me is special, you see. My mind is my masterpiece, fit for a queen like me. That is the end of our first book today. I really enjoyed this book. It was really, um, just really inspiring, kind of. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Just you know, you are your your biggest fan, and you should be proud of yourself and your abilities, no matter what, because all of us are different, and we all have we all bring different strengths. So it's important to be happy with who you are. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. Awesome. Alrighty. Are and we now ready? we go to our next uh, book. Here we go. It's Brave to Cry, written by Rebecca Robinson. When Clay came home from school, he was in a very grumpy mood. He tossed his backpack on an empty chair, plopped down to the floor, and let out a big, <clears throat> What's wrong, Clay? His dad asked. You seem upset. A lot happened today at school. I dropped my lunch on the floor and everyone laughed at me. And then I missed the game winning shot during recess. But also I was just sad. I miss my old friends and my old school. I wanted to cry all day, but I didn't. Now I feel mad. That does sound like a frustrating and confusing day, said Clay's dad. But Clay, why do you feel like you have to hold in all those emotions for so long? Do you see how upset you are now after holding in these feelings? It's okay to cry sometimes and let it out. Actually, it's brave to cry. Everyone at school says that big kids don't cry. Only big babies do, Clay moaned. And anyway, if someone is brave, doesn't that mean they have to be tough or fearless? Those people don't cry. Well, who are some of the bravest people you can think of? Asked his dad. The bravest people I can think of, well, firefighters are pretty brave. They save people every day and run into flaming buildings. And once I saw a man washing a window on a super tall building, that guy is totally brave. It must also take a lot of guts to fly a plane or to scuba dive with sharks. And once my teacher, Mr. Darrell, told me that he gave a speech to over 600 people. I always thought that was brave too. I'm pretty sure these people are way too brave to ever cry. Well, why don't you try asking them? just to be sure, suggested Clay's dad. Clay decided to give it a shot. They grabbed their jackets and took a walk down the street to the local fire department. A firefighter, a firefighter was outside cleaning a big red fire truck and whistling a song. Clay was a little shy. His dad nodded and gave him a wink. Clay needed to be brave to ask his question. Slowly, he walked over to the back tire where the fireman was standing. In Clay's small voice, he asked, can you help me with something? I know firefighters are really brave, but do firefighters ever cry? Mm. Mm -hmm. Yes, they do. Crying helps me out. Crying helps me put out the flames that I feel in my heart and in my stomach. It also makes it easier for me to breathe through my smoky thoughts. I never hold in those tears, said the firefighter. Clay was no longer feeling shy. Instead, he felt very confused. So he asked, but why? Don't you feel like you should just keep the fire feeling inside? Why cry, you ask? Tears are my fire extinguisher for, for heavy feelings. And if I don't put out that fire, it will only get bigger. 
So if crying helps to put that fire out, that is always the brave thing to do. Well, if you say so, I suppose firefighters can cry and be brave, Clay concluded and left with his dad. Clay stopped at the aquarium next. Inside, he saw a scuba diver swimming with all types of sea creatures. With a little more confidence now to speak up, Clay tapped on the glass. Can you help me with something? I know scuba divers are really brave, but do scuba divers ever cry? An ocean's worth of tears. Sometimes I become overwhelmed with many different feelings, excited, nervous, happy, scared, all at once. And shouting just doesn't do the trick like crying does. And before Clay could ask anything else, she swam away with the fish. Well, if you say so, he whispered to himself, I suppose scuba divers can cry and be brave too. Continuing their walk, Clay saw a small plain land in a big field. He ran over to see a very tall pilot with a shiny badge and big sunglasses. Clay was, Clay, who was now getting used to being brave and speaking up, cleared his throat and said, <clears throat> excuse me, even though you have to be brave to fly a plane, do pilots ever cry? My tears can be stormy or a light sprinkle, she said. And when they come, I know it's time to talk through my feelings before a bigger storm forms, which makes me feel brave. And just like how I can't fly my plane without the help of my co-pilot and crew, I need help talking through my, my tears. You should try too. A, a friend, teacher, or a parent is a great place to start. I bet you will feel pretty brave after doing that. Well, if you say so. I suppose pilots can cry and be brave too. Clay decided that it was time to walk back home. He had a lot to think about. He never knew that all these people who he thought were really brave also cried. And part of what made them so brave was that they weren't afraid to cry. Close by his house, Clay saw a man hanging from a building high up in the clouds. He was wiping down the windows and, and wearing a yellow hat. Hey, mister, Clay yelled. I know you must be really brave to be up that high, but do you ever cry? Hello down there, the window washer echoed. Like rain, tears don't come every day, so I've learned to appreciate them when they do. Just like how rain helps the plants and trees to grow from every year, I've cried, I've also grown. I've grown stronger, wiser, and more aware of my own feelings. Although I try not to when I'm working so high, I do, in, I do in fact still cry. And as the window washer got higher and higher, his voice became softer and softer. Whoa, Clay whispered to himself. I bet if he can be that brave to be that high in the sky and sometimes cry, I can be brave and cry too. When Clay returned home, he saw his second grade teacher standing outside. He was wearing a big polka dot bow tie and carrying his signature briefcase. Mr. Darrell, you're at my house. And before I ask why, can I ask something else? I've talked to so many, I talked to many brave people this afternoon, but not to you. So my question for you is, do you cry too? Oh, Clay, said Mr. Darrell, what a good question. Mm. My tears wash away temporary pain and once, once released, I'm given a fresh new start. People cry for different reasons and tears look different too. There are tears of joy, sadness, anger, and many other reasons. Sometimes they're not always physical tears. Sometimes our hearts cry. A teacher's heart cries when our students cry. My heart cries for every young child that hasn't realized his or her potential. But I can tell you on the you but I can tell you are on the right path, Clay. You are also brave, and it is very brave to cry. Even when you drop your lunch on the floor and everyone laughs, or when you miss the game winning shot, or when you miss the way things used to be, Clay asked. Mr. Darrell smiled. 
What's brave is letting it out, being vulnerable and asking for help. Clay knew that Mr. Durrell was right. And his dad, the firefighter, scuba diver, pilot, and a window washer were right, were all right too. Crying after all is a brave thing to do. So what are you going to say to everyone at school? Asked Clay's dad. People cry for different reasons, but that doesn't make them less brave. Mm -hmm. I know I can take a break to cry and that's okay to not feel okay sometimes because hiding your feelings isn't brave. Letting them out is. Mm -hmm. Now, why are you crying, dad? I'm proud of you, Clay. Mm. These are my happy tears. Mm. Oh. And these are some questions for our scholars to think about. Uh, what are some things that make you cry? Have you ever wanted to cry, but thought you shouldn't cry? Why do you think it's brave to cry? Have you ever laughed at someone because they were crying? Can you think of five brave people? Write them down, um, uh, write them a letter asking if they cry and why. Oh, I love that. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, so wow. this book too. Yes. I love the different reasons why we cry. Like, and sometimes, the crying is not physical, it's like inside yourself. And I, I really love that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Could be out of sadness, could be out of joy. Even at the end, his dad was proud and was crying, you yes. know? Happy tears. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Emotions are like waves, they come and go. And That's oh. right. Yeah. And a note on being brave, because a lot of us think like being brave means someone doesn't have any fear, but being brave actually means being brave and doing something being afraid and doing something you know even though you're 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 afraid but still keep keep going so it doesn't mean like people are fearless it just means that they they keep pushing even though they're afraid so it's really nice yeah yeah, yeah. so yep that um that those are our two books for this week and next week it, we're gonna have another book to read with you guys and so we hope that you'll tune in and um read along with us so yes Thank you for coming to read with us today. Thank you guys. And if you want a chance to win one of these books, feel free to comment on this video and we will potentially send them out soon enough. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Bye. See you next week, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.